Let's talk about the Surface Sweep in Fusion. The Surface Sweep is great for taking a cross section and putting it along a path. In this example, we have a, a cylinder that's following this curved path. This is different than the extrude because it lets you do curved shapes, arcs, things like that for your path. So on the surface menu, let's do an example where we're gonna do a path and then a profile. What's cool about surfaces is that you do not have to close out your shapes or close out your profiles. So I have a simple straight path here. And what I'm gonna do is a line that's perpendicular to the path. So I'm just gonna sketch a simple line down here. I don't have to sketch a closed shape. So this simple line can be done using the surface sweep. Now, this isn't that great because why wouldn't we just extrude this or create it some other simple way? But let's look at some of the cool options here. Not only can you sweep this simple profile along this path, you're allowed to make changes to the geometry with these dialogues over on the right. First, the taper angle, that's gonna change the entire design angle here, which is pretty different. I'm gonna bring it back to zero, but what we can introduce is twist. So I'm gonna have it twist 180 degrees as it's going around the path. You can create more custom shapes using this twist concept. And then once we have it, if we wanted to make this into a solid, that's where the thicken command is especially helpful. So it's gonna add thickness to one side or both sides of that surface geometry that we just created. Do keep in mind that you do not have to create a sketch path. It's not a requirement. For example, if I have a solid object here and I wanted to create a lip, I can do surfaces along with this solid and I don't have to create the path automatically. What I'm gonna do is just create a sketch shape out in space at this corner. So I'm coming up maybe at an angle and then coming off with an arc. So we have a simple line and arc and we'll go up to our sweep command. I'm gonna choose the orange sweep. Orange is for the surface icons. So in single path, we'll choose this profile, which is the sketch that we just did. The path this time is actually gonna be this edge. Using shift, I'm gonna select all the edge and click okay once I'm ready. And we have this new surface sweep that's done along these solid edges. Now, if we wanted to 3D print this, we are gonna to need to make these surfaces solid if we want them in the print. So if this is just a concept or you don't need to use the geometry yet, then you can leave it as surface bodies. Now, looking at the dialogue, some things I want you to be aware of, some gotchas. Single path is pretty straightforward where you have a profile and a path. So what if I asked you to create this surface object? This is looking at cross section that's continuously changing, right? So this is where maybe a loft would be really great. So we may wanna create a circle here, a circle here, a circle for the transition, circles kind of throughout, and then we would just do a surface loft between all of these. You also could do a solid loft, that would work great too. Um, for this, this is one of those examples that actually is even a little bit easier if you know about this sweep technique. So in this case, I'm doing a cross section that's gonna remain a circle, it's just gonna continue to change sizes. And so what we're gonna do is create a sketch that mimics how it's changing uh, the size of its profile throughout. And then we have a straight path going up. So now if we go to sweep and we choose that surface sweep, I'm gonna do the guide rail. I'll choose this circle, this path, that's the straight line. And then we come down to guide rail and we're gonna choose this curve that we did. And so it's forcing the circle to continue to change and update as it travels along the path. This is giving us a really cool surface body with a lot less effort than the loft. Now, if you were wanting to change the shape of the profile beyond just circle to an ellipse, to a square, whatever, that's where lofts are awesome. When it comes to the sweep, there's this orientation option and it's applied to all the types. This changes the way that it solves the profile as it's going along the path. So by default, you're probably gonna want this perpendicular option where this circle is staying perpendicular to the path as it travels and solves. But if you go to parallel, it's gonna keep 
the circle effectively flat. So if we were to slice this up into a lot of different circles, they're all going to remain vertical as it's solving throughout. Now, if this gets you what you want, terrific, great. Just be aware that you have two orientation options. You also can adjust the distance that it travels along the path. If you don't need to travel the entire path, that's okay. You can uh, specify a certain part of the distance with a slider or numerically over in the dialog. And finally, there's another option called Path with Guide Surface. This one is especially important when it comes to doing custom threads. There is a thread tool in Fusion. Be aware of that. Use that as much as you can. It's a great tool. But if you need to do a custom thread, you're probably going to be needing to use a sweep, and you'll want to know about this option. Let's first look at the single path and see what it does and why it's not quite giving us what we want. I'm going to start with a triangle, then we'll go to a thread profile in just a minute, just so we can see what this looks like. I'm going to, I'm going to choose this profile, and I'm going to go along this path. My hope is that the triangle or sharp point will stay normal and relative to this cylinder in the middle. So we solve this, we're going to hide the coil, and you can see that it's going around. If you look at this, it's actually uh, twisted to where it, one of its flatter sides are, is now aligned with the cylinder, and then it continues to twist the rest of the way. This is not keeping that sharp side or that pointed side relative to the cylinder like I'd like. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose the surface sweep. You choose the path with guide surface, and we got to come in and be careful of a couple things. I think this one's going to fail, so I need to show you about one more thing, but we're going to do the profile and try it anyways, because this can be a real pain when you're trying to solve this. Profile, path, and then the guided surface is the cylinder. And it gives me this self-intersection. One thing you need to know about is you can use a solid, you can use a surface here, you can use something to guide it along, like a cylinder in this case, but it needs to be relatively close to your shape already in size, or it needs to be larger. So in this example, I just should have made the cylinder quite a bit bigger. So if I come back, edit this sketch and make this just a little bit bigger, if we dimension the cylinder and make this 85, let's see if that's big enough. That should be fine. Um, I just found that it needs to be pretty close or larger. So trying the sweep again now, this should work. We're gonna choose the guided surface or guide surface and we're gonna choose the triangle. The path is along this coil and then the guide surface is the cylinder. It now solves it. I'm doing a new body. That'll allow me to hide a few things. Let's hide these. Now you can see that pointed edge of the triangle is staying normal to the cylinder as it travels along. Pretty cool. So if you'd like to create your own custom thread, go to create, start with the coil, pick a plane. It's going to automatically start you on a circle. And so you sketch the circle diameter and it immediately throws in this coil option. As you play with this option, you can change the values, for example, the type, where you can specify how many revolutions in the total height or how many revolutions in pitch. The spiral option will just be a 2D or kind of flat on one plane. It's not a three-dimensional spiral. And so we can come back, choose what we want, and click OK. That gets created, and it's its own body that you can then use. I'll sketch a, a simple cylinder. That's what we're going to align to. And we talked about how this just needs to be kind of close in shape. Starting a sketch right here on this face. Now I'm going to sketch the thread profile. I'm just going to rough it out real quick here and then take time to get all the right dimensions later. Finish the sketch. And now we need to do the sweep. And we could do a solid sweep. We'll do a surface sweep just because that's what we're practicing today. Go down to guide surface profile, the path is along the coil, guide surface is the cylinder inside, new body, and we can hide everything else. And now we have our custom thread profile using surfaces. I hope this helps you get started with surfaces in Fusion. I'll see you in the next video.